welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day on Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Good morning you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are brand new and you're just finding me. My name is Olivia and I'm on Weight Watchers Blue Plan. I get 24 points in a day and I would love it. If you wanted to stick around while, hit the red subscribe button down below and join my channel. So today we are going ahead with another What I Ate in a Day on Weight Watchers Blue Plan. And I do want to also address if you can hear my dishwasher in the background. I apologize, I like started it this morning and then I was like, no, I have to film. So I really do apologize if that is a little bit annoying in the background. So I'm really excited for today's video. Um, I'm just having a really easy breakfast and if you are brand new to my channel and you're just finding me, um, I my What I Ain't A Day videos, I just am using like favorite meals that I've used along my journey. I have lost 54 pounds overall on Weight Watchers and I did it a very, at a very like slow pace and just took my time with it. So for breakfast, I'm just doing a go-to for me and then I do have a yummy lunch planned. Um, but for dinner, we are doing something a little bit different. So I actually asked you over on Instagram, which I will link down below. You can check me out over on Instagram. I'm at Olivia Frida Curves over there. Um, but I asked you earlier this week, some of your favorite WW summary like meals. So what are your ideas and what are WW friendly ideas that um, I could use for some inspiration? So I really wanna make that a new thing where I just kind of go to you guys for inspo and kind of include that in my videos here and there. So I think that would be super fun and we're going to start with that today. So I don't have a name for it yet though. I don't have like a little name for that segment. So um, let me know in the comment section down below if you have any suggestions on what I could call that little segment. For dinner today, I will be making a dinner suggested from you guys, which I am so excited to do. So um, yeah, let me know if you have any suggestions on names for that little segment because I think it would be fun just to start something a little bit new and different. Um, anyways, so we are going to go ahead and make breakfast this morning. I'm just having a banana and then I'm also having my protein coffee. So um, for those of you who don't know, which I'm sure a lot of you do, um, I'm having the Caramel Premier Protein Shake, which is two points on Weight Watchers. And then I'm also having the Starbucks Blonde Roast Iced Coffee. Just going to put that in my little... I use this as my iced coffee cup all the time because it fits perfectly in here. Um, and then I'm just gonna have a banana with it. So it's just gonna be super easy, two point breakfast. Um, so let's get going and make my coffee. If you have not seen it before, I will share with you how I make this. what happened but I made my coffee backwards which never happens so I don't know what that was about but I actually put my protein shake in first which I always put my coffee in first so it's gonna taste the same either way so it's fine it'll work 
Um, but I also am having a banana, so I don't know if this makes me weird, but I actually prefer when a banana is a little bit, like, has the brown spots on it. I feel like it just makes it a little bit sweeter and softer, and this is a perfect little banana for me. So I'm gonna go ahead, I have my coffee, two points, my banana, is zero, and then I also have my, ugh, my big jug of water to get going for the day. So I guess I will see you guys back here in a little bit when I am making a lunch. Hey guys, okay, so it's lunchtime. I'm very hungry. I'm totally ready for a yummy lunch. And today I'm gonna make something really easy. One of those easy go-tos that I'm sure a lot of you are making on the WW journey, or if you're into this, you're just making it because you love it. I'm making a chicken Greek salad today for lunch. And this is one of those ones where, I don't know, it's just been a staple for me. I love Greek food so much. Uh, and this is not gonna be a necessarily like traditional Greek salad, you know, where you have a, a full, you know, bowl full of the tomatoes, the cucumbers, everything's kind of like bigger and they're kind of in little um, cubes. But with this one, I, I'm gonna put everything on a bed of green. So I'm gonna use arugula as the base and then I'm gonna have all my veggies on top and I'm also gonna have some cooked chicken breast, which I'm gonna be making in a moment and I'll just kind of show you how I season it up. So I just have um, four chicken breasts here on the pan. I'm only gonna have one, but I might as well meal prep them, I guess, and I have them for, uh, for lunch or whatever tomorrow. So I am, however, going to be a little bit of a bad WW student. I'm going to be using olive oil, and I don't know if I'm going to count it. So I do um, sometimes, instead of Pam, I will go ahead with some extra virgin olive oil. I have my oven preheated at 400, and I'm going to roast these at, or I'm going to bake these, um, at about 12 minutes per side. Depends on the thickness of your chicken, but I find 400, 12 on each side-ish is a really juicy chicken breast. Before they go in, I am gonna season them with this Montreal uh, chicken seasoning. This is the salt-free version. So I guess that's good. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to season these up and then I'm gonna pop them in the oven and then I'm gonna cut all my veggies up and lunch is gonna be ready in no time. Um, by the way, I am watching some YouTube while I cook and I'm watching Sophia Marie D. If you have not checked her out, 100% go check her channel out. She's phenomenal. She's hilarious. And I'm just gonna go out and say it. I think we'd be friends. That's just it. That's just the truth. But that's also what I like to do, just FYI. I like to go ahead and put on like just some YouTube in the background and then just cook and just do my thing. You know what I mean? Um, so that's that. Okay, so let's get into getting the chicken all ready and getting my Greek salad together. Okay, there's the chicken all ready to go. I did go a little liberal with the uh, old seasoning, but it's so, so yummy. And you definitely could do more of a Greek style seasoning, um, but I went ahead with this one just because I love the taste of it. And yeah, I'm gonna put this in the oven. Alexa, set the timer for 11 minutes. 11 minutes, starting now. Thank you. So I've just chopped up all my veggies. I've also measured out my feta. So you can, this specific brand of feta, this is the, is it the Krinos brand or is it Krinos? Um, but this is just the sheep's milk feta. So it's really, really delicious. It's a really creamy feta. Um, one of the better ones that I've tried. And so 24 grams of this is going to give you two points. So what I'll, all I do is I just use my scale and I zero out the scale with the package on it. Uh, the container and then I just pull out some feta and I end up with this amount of feta so it's actually quite a good chunk and I think that's a great value for two points so just a trick just when you're measuring out your cheeses sometimes it's really really worth it to weigh it out because you get a little bit more than you initially think you do
Okay, so there's the salad. I'll plate it up just before I put the chicken on it, but I wanted to show you this because I definitely sometimes just have this and I don't always need the chicken, but I'm going ahead with the chicken today, but just thought I would show you this. This is six points without the chicken, so two points worth for the feta, three points for the dressing, and one point for three Kalamata olives. So let's go ahead and put the chicken on it. Okay, so I just plated it up with the chicken. So I ended up going with like three quarters worth of one of the chicken breasts because they're pretty big and that's good enough for a lunch portion. So super excited for this. Go ahead and enjoy this lunch and I will meet you guys back here for snack time. So it is snack time. I'm back to share with you what I'm gonna have for snack. I'm feeling like something kind of like sweet, like fruit. And then I do also want something a little bit salty as well because that's just what I'm feeling. So um, I'm gonna go ahead with some pineapple. I just cut some up and I put it in this bowl here. There's just some pineapple there and then I'm also gonna have some goldfish. So goldfish is actually pretty good for points on um, Weight Watchers. So for 37 crackers or 20 grams, you, uh, I think it's three points worth, but I'll put it on the screen here for you. So I will measure out the grams as opposed to counting out the crackers, which you could, um, but I will use the weight of that instead. The other thing that I was going to maybe have was veggie straws. So this is one of my other um, my favorite little snacks. They're just really crunchy and I love anything original flavored. I can be boring like that, um, but these are really delicious. So for 30 grams of these, which is actually a decent amount, is four points, and yeah. But instead, we're going ahead with the goldfish today. So I will measure those out, and I will show you how much of that is. Okay, so I have my um, scale here, and I'm just gonna pour out 20 grams, 14, eight, 19, uh-oh, there we go. So there is 20 grams worth of my goldfish. So there you go, there's my snack for today. So I'm gonna go ahead and have these still working away on my water, still working away, um, and that's it. I was maybe gonna have a coffee. Do I, I do feel like it's a little too late to have coffee, it's almost four. Is that too late? I feel like that's pushing it. Do I? No, okay, no, I'm not gonna have a coffee. I'm gonna continue on with my water, have my snack, and then I will meet you guys back here for dinner. Okay, I will see you in a little bit. late to have coffee but I had to do it and I'm not gonna not document it because if I have the coffee I'm gonna share it with you guys so I need the coffee three points for my coffee as per usual um, I may be up all night but I do have to edit so maybe this will be for the best you know anyways I just wanted to share with you guys that I did in fact make a coffee but anyways all right now I for real, I will see you back when I make dinner. Hey guys, okay, so it is dinner time and it's a little bit late. So it's, we're, it's a little bit late in the evening, but I got busy, was doing laundry and all this kind of stuff and then I just lost track of time. But we're making dinner and I am making one of the um, suggestions that you guys suggested on Instagram this week when I asked you what were some of your favorite WW friendly summary meals what were your go-to's and a lot of people suggested tuna steak or also 
fish tacos. So I'm not going to make fish tacos tonight. Maybe that's for another night. I am, however, going to try tuna steak because I personally love tuna steak. Um, I just have never made it myself. I've had it at restaurants. So um, I went today and I picked up some fresh yellowfin tuna and told me that it was just brought in today. So it's really, really fresh. It's sushi grade tuna. So you can eat it raw if you want, but I'm going to be searing it. So it's just going to be kind of really medium rare in the middle. Um, but again, never done that before. So let's hope for the best. And I'm going to marinate it slightly before I get going. Um, I am going to marinate it with a little bit of soy sauce. And then I'm gonna do some black pepper and some salt and just a tiny bit, just to give it a little flavor. And then we'll sear it. And then I'm also gonna have, um, oh, I'm gonna have a sweet potato. And I'm gonna do this in the microwave. I'm gonna make a sweet potato in the microwave. I looked it up and, cause I've cooked potatoes in the microwave and apparently it just takes five minutes. So I've already washed this and you just kind of pierce it with a fork. There you go. So for half a cup of sweet potato, it's three points. So I think this will be around that amount, maybe just slightly more, but it'll be about three points for sweet potato. And then I'm going to make a side of like mango salsa. So I don't like cilantro. Fun fact about me, not my thing. I also don't love spicy stuff. So um, I just kind of went rogue and I picked up this um, mango. So I'm going to go ahead and use the mango but I'm also gonna include what you would include. I'm gonna include some diced red pepper. I'm also gonna use up some of that red onion that I have from earlier. And then do I add tomato? Is that weird? I don't know. Also on top of the tuna I forgot to mention, I'm gonna add a little sprinkling of spring onion and also some sesame seeds, which were very tricky to find. So I've, again, I've never made this and I am nervous because if it doesn't turn out, this is gonna be you know, really devastating because I'm looking forward to it. I love tuna. So, okay, I'm gonna marinate the tuna first. I'll show you how I do that and get going on everything else. Okay, wish me luck. Future Olivia in editing, did it work out? Well, she can't help me now. All right, I will see you guys in a little bit. We will get started on dinner. So about that much. And I'm gonna go ahead and Great black pepper in here. And just put a little bit of salt. Okay, so there's everything kind of cut up for the mango salad, which I'm just going to add some lime juice to in a bowl, and I'm not going to go ahead and add the tomato. I just decided to opt out of that. So I'll mix all of this together in a bowl and some of the lime juice. Okay, so you know how I love colorful food. Look how great that looks. That's going to look so nice with the tuna. Okay, so next step is I'm going to go ahead and... Hi. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of re-wet this a little bit and then I will pierce it with a fork four or five times around. And I'm gonna put it in the microwave for two and a half minutes. And then I will flip it and go for another two and a half minutes. So five minutes in total, which should cook this perfectly. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead with just one tuna steak for now and just see how that goes. So I just lightly sprayed with a little bit of Pam let this go for about two and a half minutes and then flip it. So there is it searing in the pan. We'll see. Okay, we're flipping. Oops. A little slippery. It looks good. Okay guys, so here's dinner. I'm so excited. This looks so delicious, honestly. I'm, ex I'm just beyond excited. So I'm gonna cut into this um, tuna steak and just show you the middle in just a second. But so let's just talk the points for a second. Um, we have no points for the mango salsa, of course. Three points for the sweet potato. And I added like less than a half a tablespoon or a teaspoon of the light basil, which is one point. So we'll just call it one point. And then um, I went in with 
no, just a tiny little sprinkling of sesame seeds, which I would count as no points. So all together, this is what, four points? Okay, let me taste this and show you guys how it is. Okay guys, I don't even know what to tell you. This looks so good. This is very summery to me. This is total, you know, those bright, fresh flavors that are coming from the mango salsa. And then of course the tuna. I just think this is very summery and a really light meal. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut into this tuna. Let's see what it's like in the middle. I have to say, I think I nailed it. I think I actually did a great job of cooking this medium rare. Could have been even a little bit more rare. I love raw tuna, like poke bowls, so I wouldn't mind it if this was like even a little bit more rare, but okay. I'm gonna go ahead and try a bite and I'll let you guys know how it is. Wow. The flavor is so delicious. I'm so proud of myself. I can't believe I made a tuna steak. I'm actually really impressed. You know, I feel like I might put a little bit of soy sauce on the side just to like dip it in, but that's incredible. And I'm excited to get into this like little sweet potato. This is like color, right? This is like the colorful stuff that I like to see. So I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this dinner. I'm really excited and thank you so much for the suggestions and for suggesting something that was outside of my comfort zone that I don't normally make. Sometimes it's fun just to try something new that you don't you don't know if you can make. All of a sudden, you create like a little chef's meal. What? So I guess I will see you guys back here for dessert, whenever that is. Um, I actually already know I'm not gonna want anything too crazy tonight, so I think I'm just gonna have something super light and just kinda end off the night that way, so. I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my dinner, sit down, relax, watch some TV, and uh, I'll meet you guys back here whenever I have a little bit of a late night treat. So dinner was so delicious. I'm so glad I tried that recipe. So thank you so much for suggesting it, first of all. And second of all, I definitely wanna try this again. So leave in the comment section down below for suggestions if you have any really great WW summary um, meal ideas or inspiration, and I definitely wanna try it. And of course, I will give you a shout out in my next video. So if you want to see your meal made on one of my videos to come, leave it down in the comment section down below. And then also, I need to name this little segment. So we need to brainstorm and think of some fun little name ideas. So if you have any, please let me know. Uh, and then of course, if you want to give this video a thumbs up, that would mean the world to me. It really helps out me and my channel. And then of course, subscribe if you aren't already. I would love it if you wanted to join my channel. Um, oh, I guess I didn't even let you guys know what I'm finishing off the night with. Um, I'm having some smart sweets. So I just picked these up at the grocery store and this will be three points for this bag. This is the Fruity Gummy Bears. I really, really like this one. I'm not really into um, super sour sweets. So I'm gonna go ahead and have these, which I think wraps up my day with 25 points out of 24. Not a big deal, but that's because I did count the um, oil that I use for the chicken and all that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, we had a pretty great day. So that's gonna do it for this video. I will also leave a link down below for my Instagram if you want to follow me over there as well. But that's gonna do it for this video. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. This was so much fun trying a meal that comes from you guys. It's super fun to try that. So. Thanks again, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye guys.